Hi, I'm Ron Beckstrom with ICANN. We're here in lovely Brussels, and I'm here with Axel Pellick, who's the CEO of, of Right uh, NCC, which is one of the leading players in the global internet ecosystem. So, Axel, great to see you. Indeed, it's my way. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about what Right NCC does? Right. Uh, right NCC is uh, acting as one of the regional internet registries, um, as such. We are allocating internet addresses to our members, that's basically internet industry uh, in Europe, Middle East and parts of Central Asia, which is the former Soviet Union in terms of land mass. Uh, we, do so, do, uh, we do some other things as well as in uh, looking after one of the root name servers in the world, uh, one of the 13 operators is us. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do um, other activities, research, uh, measurements of uh, the internet quality, the internet line quality and the like. Mm -hmm. We have uh, currently about 6,500 members uh, and um, well, yeah, in terms of headcounts, about 120 people currently fluctuates up and down. And what's the geography? What's the exact geographic range? That it is covering? all of Europe. It's uh, Middle East mm -hmm. and it's uh, the ex-Soviet Union, basically. So that's that's uh, who we're looking after. The main biggest countries in terms of membership are um, is, is Russia, and of course the usual suspects in, in Europe is the UK, it's uh, Germany, Italy, France. So that's uh, where we see the growth. How many countries is that in total? God, if I knew, ninety odd. Okay. It is quite a bit. It's a lot. That's it almost is. half oh, the oh, countries yeah. in the world. <laughs> yeah, so I never counted them, and they, they change occasionally. Now, a lot of people don't really know what the internet route does, or how the, how the route. Can you just give people a simple kind of explanation of what sure. the internet route is? Basically, what the, what the route does is um, matching addresses, number-based addresses, to names that you could maybe remember, like um, www.icon.org. So there is a number after that, or according to that, and people will have a hard time remembering that, so they use the domain name. So what the domain name system does is matching numbers to names. The root servers do this on the highest hierarchical level. Basically, they give you addresses for root servers for countries or the big top-level domains like .com, .org, .net. And that's terrific. So there are, I think, 12 organizations out there that run 13 clusters distributed, ge geographically distributed uh, root servers. And you've been running that route since when? I think it's 92, 93, roughly that. When we were told by our community to get one into Europe and start running it. And then you also run one of the largest regional internet registries, right? Uh, that we do. And you, address, you allocate addresses. Can you talk a little bit about that and how of you course. work with your members there? Now, obviously, we have to allocate unique addresses. Um, that's something that, that every computer on the internet needs, more or less, and it needs to be done in a, in a straightforward fashion. They need to be unique, they need to be conserved to some degree, and we've been asked then in 92, 93 also by our RIPE community to um, do that for them. And that's what we do. We get our addresses from IANA, part of ICANN, and we distribute them further down the line to our members and uh, who needs them, basically. People come to us and say, we have plans to develop our internet business in such a way that we need so many addresses. And we look at the plans and say, yeah, that makes sense, or, well, probably this is more, more marketing-based, you would want to reconsider that a bit, and, but everybody gets what they need. And the, the stage post. So I want to ask you a question because you're in a better position than anyone in the world to know this. But that's you know, as we start to run out of IPv4 address space, how prepared are the com companies in Europe, the, your members and the ISPs and others, to move to uh, uh, IPv6? And that is an interesting IPv4. question. I think by now, from within our community, everybody knows about the need to go to IPv6. What we do see very, very frequently is that people know about it, but want to do it next week or next month or next year. Now, obviously, we are running out of IPv4 by 2012, current uh, predictions. So there is a need to get, get going rather quickly. And we do see an increased level of uh, activity in both um, people wanting to get more information, people knowing about it and making their plans, and actually people coming to us and requesting address blocks, IPv6 address blocks. So I believe there's quite some activity within Europe, within Europe and within our members to prepare for the rollout.
some of, some of our members have done something that is publicly visible. They have rolled out IPv6 uh, networking, but many are just keeping it inside of the companies and are preparing, making plans. I'm sure when we're running out of V4, they will have to switch to V6. Excellent. And we'll do it. Great. Well, Axel, thank you so much for spending time with us today here in Brussels. Anytime.